Hey guys, what's going on? So, before this video starts, I just wanted to say that one, no, I do not have the new sniper, and two, this is in combat training. This is not in public match, so I just want to make that clear now so I don't see any comments about that. Uh, I wanted to make this video just to show the new Black Ops 3 sniper rifle. It came out a few weeks ago, but because of my luck and supply drops, I probably am not going to get it anytime soon. However, a friend got it on two different accounts, so he gave me his password to one of his accounts just so I can mess around with it and learn how to use it. Uh, this is, there's two main things about this gun that you need to know. One is this right here, and this is why I'm going to put in slow motion, is because there's aim assist on this gun, but there's also something else that's weird about this gun, is where if you put your scope on somebody, it slows down your scope time. It's kind of like how the Locust was when the game first came out, where if you'd scope on them, and the moment you get pretty much in the region of where their body is, the, the uh, scope itself would slow down. It does that on this game with this gun. However, there is aim assist on this gun, which is nice. I've noticed it because there's certain shots that normally if I were using like a Locust or SVG, I would never hit that shot. But with this gun, it seems to hit. So there clearly is aim assist on this gun. There's one thing that's kind of annoying though, is that whole scope time thing, the whole slow thing is because the number one thing I would recommend if you have this gun already is do not sit in your scope. Literally try to quick scope. Try to black scope every shot. If you don't know what black scoping is, I'm sure most of you do, but if you don't know what it is, basically it's the moment your crosshairs come up, shoot. Just don't even hesitate. Because the longer you sit down in your scope in this game with this gun, especially this gun, you are probably going to die. Uh, the thing I've noticed about this gun, though, is that you do get a fuck ton of hit markers. So, really, my only advice to you would be to aim extremely high, and even then, there's a still a chance you'll probably get a hit marker. This gun's kind of weird. If they ever do change this thing, I would love to see this gun probably probably take off the aim assist and bump the damage up a little bit. The reload time is kind of in between the Locust and the SVG, but it's still, I mean, you can see it right now. It's still pretty quick. You can hit quad feeds. Uh... With this gun has rapid fire on it right now so obviously i do want to get a lot of new sniper gameplay up on my channel but the problem is obviously you guys all know this my luck is fucking absolutely terrible in the black market with the whole supply drops thing it's absolutely terrible so i have no idea what i'm gonna do obviously i can't play on my account until i actually get the thing and you guys all know we just passed the whole double crypto keys thing I had about 600 keys, give or take. I opened them all up, and I literally did not get shit. I got two Locust camos, that's it. I didn't get anything. No weapons whatsoever. So I have no idea when I am going to get the weapon, which is another thing I wanted to just quickly talk about. And I know I can't be the only one who thinks this way. It just... It's so fucking stupid that they put primary weapons in supply drops. I can understand, like, the gear. Like, for example, in AW, there was gear sets that you could get. And that's understandable, but why the fuck would they ever add a primary weapon to a supply drop? Because that just means there's a lot of people who just can't get the weapon, and that's just stupid. Um, hopefully, I can get a little more footage. Hopefully, I can play on this account at least a little more. Um, to get some more gameplay. I'll try to get some public match shit for you guys. But basically, I kind of just wanted to make this video just to show this gun in case any of you haven't either seen it, you haven't played with it, or you don't have it yourself like me. It's a great gun, but it is going to take you a while to get used to because of the fact that most of the snipers don't have aim assist, and then this one does. Uh, and the fact that it is kind of a hit marker machine. But uh, on that note, hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully I get the new sniper because then if I do, I can I can definitely get some gameplay out for you guys. Uh, I really do want to get some PubMax shit, so it's not just combat training. That note, I'll see you guys later.